Well, who would <laughs> think that playing video games might be harmful to your health? A San Antonio grandmother learned the hard way that virtual fitness can pose some of the same hazards as conventional exercising. Wendy Rigby has the story, new at five. Grab your virtual hula hoop and step on the platform. The Wii Fit was one of the top three best-selling video games of 2008. Rosemary Bolte played with her grandchildren on Christmas Day, hitting virtual soccer balls, and then hitting the virtual trail. We did jogging, and the minute my foot hit the ground on jogging, it, it had it, it just popped. Oh, it hurt, really hurt. Rosemary had torn her meniscus, the rubbery cushioning cartilage between the upper and lower leg bones. And it tore this structure. She ended up having surgery last week at the Orthopedic Institute, an arthroscopic procedure to remove the damaged tissue. Simply exercise it like this. Today, she was back for a checkup with her orthopedic surgeon, Ron Connor. He says people tend to underestimate what they're doing on a fitness video game. If you pick up a, a controller for a video game where you're playing like it's a tennis racket, you gotta assume you're swinging a tennis racket. It's just as active and uses all the same muscles. Rosemary is recovering well from her procedure, but she says she'll think twice before trying to keep up with her grandchildren. I think it's good to, you know, to play with them and, and be part of what they do, but after this, I won't try that real hard. One way to protect yourself from injury is to warm up a little before you grab the controller. I think warming up and stretching out and listening to your body as you start to have some pain and realizing when enough is enough. And doctors say the biggest risk with the Wii Fit, repetitive motion injuries. Folks get so wrapped up in the game, they don't really realize how much they're doing until sometimes it's too much. Reporting live, Wendy Rigby, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.